Hey there folks, Armageddon here, bringing you another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at some figures I'm very excited about. I'm going to be starting a new set, a new series of reviews, uh, reviewing the SH Figure Arts uh, Dragon Ball Z figures from Bandai. Um, I've just recently started collecting these. I don't know how these got past me. I am a huge, huge, huge Dragon Ball Z fan. I was growing up. I still watch it at night, record it, watch it every day and <laughs> these figures are easily becoming the favorites in my collection uh, they are the most accurate Dragon Ball Z figures I have ever seen in my entire life and I am giddy over these things uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging today we're gonna be taking a look at the the SH figure arts Super Saiyan Son Gohan uh, it, they call him Son Gohan from the manga I don't know uh, but take a look at the box here. All of the boxes for these figures are, are almost as impressive as the figures themselves. They're beautiful packages. Uh, this is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive figure. This is actually the second Gohan that's been released. A special color edition, U.S. exclusive. Over here on this side, we have a nice picture of Gohan. On the back, it just gives a couple more product shots. Kamehameha. And a little read-up of uh, Gohan here. It talks about the story. If you don't know the story of Gohan, probably don't care much about this video so I'm not gonna read into that uh, one thing I do find interesting raging face parts as well as interchangeable hand parts allow for depiction of the belligerent Super Saiyan Son Gohan uh, belligerent's not exactly the word I would use to describe Gohan but that's another thing uh, the best part about these figures are all of the accessories you get here and let's go ahead and open this thing up you just take off the blister and you can see he comes with all different kinds of hands. Here's two closed fist hands, uh, two kind of just, I don't know what you would probably call these, uh, just like battle ready hands. Or They're kind of annoying to get out, but they're just like kind of open palmed hands a little bit. So they're just like he's standing like that, I guess, something like that. Uh, and then the, Kame the Kamehameha hands that he comes with. He's got a bunch of different faces. We have just a stern face, uh, stern face looking to the right uh, kind of a smirky face um, kind of a little mouth open looking straight and he comes with his regular Super Saiyan head uh, and we'll get into that here in a little bit and he also comes with his cape that Piccolo gave him or kind of poofed out of midair for him but uh, we'll get into this a little bit and I'll show you how to change all this but uh, like I said this is the Oh, let me mute that. This is the second release of this figure. Uh, this one is a little more accurate to the anime, as where the first one was more accurate to the manga. Uh, so it's got a, a deeper purple on it, and the blue belt, instead of a red, his skin looks a little more uh, kind of tan. That looks really good. Uh, the figure just looks outstanding. Uh, he stands roughly about four, maybe four and a half inches tall. Uh, so he's actually smaller than what I anticipated, but he scales so good with all the other figures. And really, the, the main selling point is not only the, the realistic look of them, but the articulation. I mean, these figures have the best articulation I've just about ever seen in a figure. Virtually everything on the figure can move. Great ball joint on the head. You can spin them all the way around, up, down. Arms are all full 360 in and out double hinge here at the elbow you can move the wrists uh, rotates at the waist you can look up and down with his waist legs forward and back bends at the knee and toe articulation so absolutely super poseable figures and it's just it, it really is almost a dream come true to finally have Dragon Ball Z figures that look this good now like I said, he comes with all the different hands, and they're really easy to put on. All you do is you take the hand off, and it just pops off on the joint right there. And let me make sure I've got it's the wrong side. We'll go ahead and put uh, his karate, his kung fu ready hands. And they are annoying to get out of these little packages, but there we go. We'll take off his Kamehameha hands. And we will put on these hands and they just sock it right on in now because Gohan's so small it is kinda hard to get a good grip on him but you just give him a push come on now 
You just have to keep the ball joint from moving too much like it's wanting to do right now. There we go. It's just, uh, he's, his arms are so small, and the ball joint here just likes to, to flip and move, and it can be kind of frustrating to get it on there, but you just give it a push, and... And there we go. So now he's got his different hands on. Just like that. And and you can get him in any way you want. Now to change the head, for one we can... Let's go ahead and slap on his... Uh, well, let's go ahead and show how to how to change the face. Now, the changing the face is actually the really cool part. You be careful with this hair because the hair on these Super Saiyans are really spiky. They are pretty sharp. So, you take the front part of the bangs off. Take the existing face off. And let's pick a face. What do we want to do? Let's just get it to where he's looking kind of pissed off. You take it. Snap the new face on. And again, watch your fingers when you're putting all this on and push it and there we go so there is Gohan with a new face Super Saiyan 2 Gohan with a new face and some new hands and this looks good uh, I really like you can do like I said you can do a number of poses with them I love just about all of them now let's put on his cape now this can be kind of frustrating because the ball joint on the head does pretty much the same thing as on the uh, on the hands it's just a little bit more annoying than that you take the cape and the cape by the way has beautiful shading on it it's not going to come across right here but you can see the bright white here and then it gets a little darker it's got beautiful shading all throughout the cape the actual the first edition or the first i say the first edition the first release of it uh was just a an all white cape it didn't have much coloring on it, it didn't have any coloring actually so this one is a nice release so there we go uh now we've got him just regular Gohan, and he's got a nice little smile on his face, which looks really good. I like that. So you have a, a number of options when you're doing that. Let me grab a couple other figures off the shelf. All right. Uh, if we compare him to, say, the old, the old. Super Saiyan Gohan figure. You can see a big difference. This one was obviously based off the manga. You can see the red belt. Uh, so he's actually shorter than the old 1996 figure, but <laughs> you can't compare with uh, with the details. But an absolutely wonderful figure, guys. Let's get this back off. And let's get him back as Super Saiyan 2, because that's where he's the best at. That's where he looks awesome at. And he, like I said, he scales perfect with all the other figures. Um, the only two that I'm missing as of now are Vegeta and Piccolo. Those are going to be uh, here soon. So let's go ahead and compare him to, say, Cell. Figure Art Cell. His review will be coming soon. Uh, you can see a pretty good scale. He's actually a figure. Cell is somebody that actually needs to be a little taller. They did kind of make him a little too short, but you know he's a good bit taller than Gohan so that's really about all that matters um, you can you know do whatever you want with him Cell's body actually extends out so you can make him a little bit taller if you'd like um, but the, I, I mean I really just I, I don't really know what else to say about these figures guys uh, they really are just they're perfect if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan of any kind uh, casual if you watched it when you were a kid pick up some of these figures uh, this SDCC Gohan is actually the cheapest one as of right now at least from what I what I've seen uh, he's about 40 bucks on Amazon so not too bad and he's worth every penny every penny let's get him into the Kamehameha blast and bring in the accessory that Cell came with why don't we and that's Cell's Kamehameha Blast I like since I like to keep Cell usually with his arms crossed I put this with Gohan guys that looks awesome that looks awesome uh, you can make it look a little bit better that's just kind of a quick pose but an absolutely wonderful figure do I recommend them you bet I do uh, they're great uh, 
but that's really about all guys uh trunks super saiyan 3 goku uh the cell figure and regular goku will be coming soon so keep your eyes out for those but this has been armageddon with another video review the sh figuarts super saiyan son gohan from bandai thanks for watching